Janelle Carbajo may even look familiar to Chiefs fans, especially with her puppets. This is the original one. It's a Sylvester Stallone um, puppet that we got at a white elephant gift. My husband coached wrestling and we had a, a Christmas party with his wrestlers and that was a white elephant gift. It's a little scary. It is a little scary. <laughs> they dressed Sly up in team gear for a few years before they moved on to new puppets. Found these nuns that had, uh, and a rabbi that, uh, that were the boxing puppets. It started as a fun toy, a distraction for her daughter during the games. Now Janelle is known as the puppet lady. Tiny helmets represent the visiting team playing the Chiefs. She has one for every team. She and her dueling Rock'em Sock'em football players sit in the front row. So show me how yes. you do it. Okay, so this one, I usually put this one on my left hand okay. and you there's a handle in there and then there's two levers that your index finger and your middle finger sit on top of those levers and then you just uh, push, uh, move your fingers <laughs> up and down. The three of them often catch the eye of cameras and of course fans as well. People will say, oh, uh, hey, you're the puppet lady. Oh, hey, can I get a picture? Janelle and her family have been to hundreds of games. I could count on maybe two hands. I haven't missed very many at all. And everybody in our section has just kind of watched my children grow up. The Carbajos were there at Arrowhead in 1994 when the Chiefs beat the Steelers in overtime of the playoffs. That is the last time KC won a home playoff game. It was exciting, I know that, because it was a big win for us, and it was, I mean, the stadium, there was, everybody, after the game was over, people just were still standing in the stadium. I mean, it was, it was a really exciting day. Now the Chiefs are division champs again, and it's playoff time for the Puppets as well. And then if I think that maybe, um, we're not doing too well, or maybe we need a little help with defense, mm -hmm. and I kind of stop this one, and then we just pound this one to death, <laughs> so. It's, and then we get a little like this. And win or lose, Janelle will be back in the classroom Monday morning, proud of this season. The kids, when I see them in the hallway, they, they're like, hey, I saw you on TV yesterday, and it's like, yeah, I was there, it was great.